next submitter, Rex Landy. Kia ora, Rex, and welcome to the Justice Select Committee subcommittee. Good um, afternoon. Good afternoon. I've got the Honourable Mark Mitchell with me, and we've assigned five minutes for your submission today. Um, I'll give you a little indication at four minutes so you know that there's a minute left. Uh, right. Otherwise, we shall hand over to you. Uh, I'm just going to put my timer on here because I was talked over uh, by the chair of the last time I submitted at three and a half minutes and he tried to shut me down. So I'll just put my alarm on now. As, I'll put mine on too. We'll Great. See. <laughs> Shout Way out to Blake. Go. Shout out to Blake Williams. Don't be gaslit by this one, because believe me, you were right on the money with this thing, uh, conversion therapy. Ko ko tipu tuku maunga, ko takahui tuku awa, ko te rarawa tuku iwi, ko kura haupo tuku waka, te tahi te whenua. Ko tahawai tuku hapu, ko Robin Leslie Landy tuku papa, ko hapi kingi tuku mama. Ko waiau, ko Rex Landy ahau. There's been some masterful submissions on this Trans the Gay Away Bill because that's the new conversion therapy. There hasn't been a report since 2007 about someone trying to try the uh, Pray the Gay Away and Trans, you know, Trans the Gay Away is the new one now because medical intervention and surgery and puberty blockers, which is like Lupron, used off-label to, to be given to children, is a cancer drug. Now there's doctors and, and many more masterful submissions than mine. Uh, the right to self-identify is in no law. Rosa Friedman told you about it. They are misappropriating an international law that applies to our peoples like the Choctaw Nation or the Sioux or indeed our own Tangata Whenua, the right to self-determine. There is no right to self-identification in any law. Check Rosa Friedman's uh, on the other one. You're gonna make it illegal under this bill to talk about gender and talk to children about gender. And uh, the hate speech bill is gonna give me a $50,000 fine for trying to talk someone out of their gender orientation. Gender dysphoria is a mental illness. It's in the DSM-5. They need every support and help and treatment that they can get. And I believe they're being willfully mistreated with hormones and cross-sex blockers, destroying their endocrine system, giving up their fertility because they feel like they're a girl. No, it's a mental illness being willfully mistreated by Big Pharma. You can get 600,000 to a million dollars off one person with multiple surgeries. You want to criminalize loving parents who want to talk to their children. There are children being taken away in Australia, Mark. They're being taken away from their parents because their parents will not call a girl he. And how you see yourself is up to you. How I see you is up to me. It's compelled external validation for a mental illness. You are legislating for a mental illness. And while they need all the help and compassion, believe me, they don't need surgery and hormones. Puberty is not an illness. It doesn't need blocking. Some of the stuff they're talking about, you feel free to use Google. It's viewed as a chemical lobotomy. You can lose up to 15 points of IQ if you use testosterone. Young girls of 22 are having... Uh, hysterectomies. They are giving up their sexual function and fertility. But please, by all means, just put your fingers in your ear and go la 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 the way Deb Russell did. You might like to tell Deb Russell there's more than one page on the internet outside Twitter, the Scientific American. She's quoted it two or three times as if it's some gotcha. It's not. I'm, you won't listen to me. I'm just a professional nobody. But I would like to leave you with the words of Marcy Bowers, who's a foremost transgender, transgender surgeon. Marcy has performed over 2,000 re reconstructions, okay? Over 2,000. Marcy is one of the leading transgender surgeons. When asked about puberty blockers, on puberty blockers, they raise concerns that appear to question the current health guidelines set by WPATH. Those are the people that say, affirm your mental illness. It's the only mental illness that the patients demand as a civil right, and it's the only mental illness that um, is being legislated for over everything else. Would you legislate free suits for everybody who thinks they're Napoleon as their treatment? 
similar. Erica Anderson is the psychologist at the, the clinical psychologist at the University of California Child and Adolescent Gender Clinic. She's worried about them losing their function, their sexual function. When asked whether children in the early stages of puberty should be put on blockers, Marcy Bowers said, I'm not a fan. Wow, who knew? One of the leading transgender surgeons says, I'm not a fan of giving children cancer drugs. Well, puberty blockers, are they reversible? Dr. Anderson says, I'm not sure. There are definitely people who are trying to keep out anyone who doesn't absolutely buy the party line, that everything should be affirming and that there's no room for dissent. Bowers said, I think that's a mistake. What a pity Elizabeth Kitty Kitty's not here to hear this because these are transgender people telling you the truth about transgender medicine. Watch and wait. 80% of children, if given talk therapy, yes, talk therapy, desist. And they don't want to be a boy or a girl anymore. They settle into the sex that they are. LGB is all the letters. The only you. other one is LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and turf. Thank you, Rex. Turf um, is a slur. And I'll finish with just two words from Marcy Bowers, the transgender doctor. This was released this week, so no wonder you guys don't know about it. And James Caspian's tried to study it at the University of Mark. over time. So I said, well, I should have another minute because Ian McKelvey cut me a minute and a half short in my last I'm sorry, one but by I'm, talking I'm over chairing, me. I'm chairing this sub subcommittee. Right, you are. Well, Bowers said, I'll time. give you three words. Three words. Bowers said, wake up here. I think, Rex, I think, Rex, the point being with your... Um, I, I, I didn't swear We're, i was passionate and you know what you didn't yep. want to hear the names of the pedophiles the rapists and murderers who were taking thank advantage you. of the double well, whammy thank you, bye uh, just, have a great yeah, weekend if, thanks mark if, for being so good if we you know rich just just very quickly is that um the reason why we have this bill in front of the committee is because in new zealand we don't want members of our rainbow community or young people or any person that's um, thinking about joining the rainbow community being labelled as having a, a mental illness. And that's exactly why we've got this bill in front of the committee right now. That's right. And I think we've we've lost Rex, but um, that was the same point that I was going to make, make as well. Strongly disagree with those comments uh, in relation to mental illness, which I think was just hugely disrespectful as well as um, misinformation, quite frankly. Yeah, I think you so, showed a high of um, tolerance there, Madam Chair, and I, and I acknowledge that for allowing that um, for the submission to be finished. I know that we try to hear every submission on this in front of this committee, but I have to say that I found that one um, pretty offensive and uh, disrespectful. Agreed, agreed. I think we'll move now on to the next submission. We've got Barry, by the way, who's joining us next. <laughs> 